So guys, I am back with another Diablo 4 video. And today guys, I bring you what's going to be either something incredible or I'm going to debunk somebody else. How's it going guys? My name's DPG and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so I watched a video uh, the other day by Majestic Multi Gaming, who is a great Diablo 4 content creator, where he was upgrading a certain piece of gear, i.e. something like this. It was upgrading it and obviously when you upgrade this, you can see that the aspect with it will also upgrade. Now this only works with aspects where it's number based. Percentage based, it will not work. And I'll give you a quick demonstration here. Uh, let me have to grab another, aspect, uh, another legendary at my uh, chest. Now I was watching this video thinking, well, I was a little confused. I thought I was thinking, you'll, you'll understand. So let's just grab, say this one here. So let's go down to the blacksmith. One, two, three, four dodges, people. Sick. Okay, so for instance, you'll know what I mean here. So if we go to the blacksmith and we try to upgrade this item here, you'll see that it sticks at 19%. Bone spirit deals increased damage based on distance traveled up to 19%. It stays the same no matter what I do. But if I use this one, you'll see that the uh, every 10 seconds your cold skeletal mages cast a blizzard that deals 1150 uh, cold damage that goes up with every upgrade and it will keep going up and what he was doing was he was upgrading this and then uh, extracting the aspect therefore when he puts it on a different piece while it's upgraded to it will stay at that value which is pretty cool but I was thinking if you just extract the aspect and put it on another piece will that upgrade it will it upgrade with that other piece because if you upgrade it via like this method here so if i upgraded this and extracted it if you put it on another piece it wouldn't actually upgrade with the other piece uh blizzard have thought about that but if i was to upgrade this as you'll see guys i can demonstrate this because i've got plenty of things to do so and it's a uh, good viewing pleasure so if i upgrade this i'm just going to do it a couple of times so we can see 1196 so if i upgrade it once you can see it's now 1196 and that's what it's going to stay at, i'm guessing so it's gone up one so if i try and do that again i don't think it i think you can only do it at once maybe do it more i'm not sure but yeah it's staying at the one so if i upgrade it again and now it's going up again okay so that's fair enough so I'll upgrade again. So we might as well do that. I got the spare materials. Mm, unexpected. So yeah, it's upgraded again. So we're now at 1243. Now if I extract this piece and put it on another piece of gear, you'll see it will stay at 1243, which is pretty ridiculous when you think about what it can do with this and what it can do with other aspects. But don't forget, it's not percentage based. It's always in number based ones. Um, so yes, if I put an item in here, I've got two shields here, so none of these are going to break that uh, breakpoint here, so that's fair enough. So put that there. Actually, I first got, I got to extract it first, haven't I? What an idiot. What an idiot. So let's extract that. So now we have this. It's 1243. Now, if this goes on a shield, I don't think it changes anything. I know an amulet will power increase by... 50% so yes it should still be 1243 on a shield so let's go and have a look now so I'll put this on this shield right here uh, there we go so where are we make it it's 1243 so this will now be 1243 so I'm going to imprint that there we go now if I go back to try and upgrade this it shouldn't allow me to upgrade it it shouldn't change whatsoever if it does it's broke but i'm pretty sure it doesn't i'm pretty sure it doesn't but that'd be crazy imagine if you could do that oh yeah i'm pretty sure this has been debunked already okay so let's go to upgrade let's go and check out my new legendary piece just like so now when i see it ain't gonna upgrade it's staying the same so if i upgrade that it's staying the same no matter what so yeah, that's fair enough I'm not gonna waste materials but what I was thinking was, 
because a lot of people would see this aspect on a Legend of piece and think, you know what, I'm going to extract that and save it till later. And not thinking about upgrading it first, I mean, it'd be more powerful when it comes to applying it to that said piece they want for their build. But what happens if you just extract? Well, I've got one I already extracted that I haven't leveled up, which is right there. I've had that for ages, not been leveled up, not been touched. So if I apply that to a different shield, like this one right here, and then apply the aspect, just like so. It stays the same, nothing's changing. 731, 731. If I imprint that, now we're going to upgrade it. Will it change? If it doesn't change, this is an incredible, an incredible thing. But I thought, you know what, it may just change. So it's a pointless thing, you may as well extract it straight away because you're saving materials in upgrading it. If you're going to upgrade it anyway when you uh, implant it. Okay, so upgrade it is this one right here, just like so. 731, 731. Okay, so that is, it's not changing. It's not changing whatsoever. So this is an incredible strat. This is an incredible thing to do. So there you have it guys, and I'll go back to my aspects in my vault so I can explain a little clearly on how this works and what aspects you can do this with. Okay, so for instance guys, I haven't got that many aspects to be honest, I'm, I only just thought about flipping, pulling them out. Uh, and it's wrong now actually, so if you get a legendary piece, save it. Do not extract the aspect if it falls into the category that you allow, allow you to upgrade it. So for instance, this one here you can see. It's got number base, so it's it see it says there damage in the elite, uh, grants you a barrier absorbing up to 1000 blah 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 uh, damage, whatever. If it's percentage based like this one, it will not upgrade no matter what you do, so you may as well extract it. This one, I believe, will. This one will as well. <laughs> this one will not. Any percentage base will not. Uh, I'm not sure about that. But you can always try. I don't think it, that will, to be honest. I don't think these ones do. I think they're set in stone. Uh, that one should or probably won't. <laughs> uh, but yes, that definitely won't. But yeah, guys, these ones here, the number-based ones, will definitely work. So if you have these on a legendary piece like, let's see what we have here. Uh, I probably haven't got one, to be honest now. I've probably used them all. Um, I don't think I have got one. Let's have a quick look here. No, 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 and no. Okay, so what about here? No, I haven't, but yeah, you know what I'm talking about, guys. If they're anything like this, definitely upgrade them before you extract the aspect. Therefore, then when it goes to, for you to imprint, imprint them on other pieces, they're going to be higher. That's a great, great tip. So keep that in mind, guys, and there we have it. Credit to Majestic Multi Gaming for this amazing tip. Uh, it actually works. A lot of people in this comment section were thinking, well, if you just apply the aspect somewhere else and upgrade it, wouldn't upgrade with that item. No, it doesn't. So there we have it, guys. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like it really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.